Hey guys, welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Tiffany. In today's video, I'm sharing with you some really cute and festive Halloween treats. So if you guys wanna see what I came up with, then please keep watching. All right, first up is our candy corn jello. I am just showing you what you need. You need yellow jello, orange jello, some whipped cream, and some candy corns. And then I found these really cute kind of shot glass things. They are plastic from the Dollar Tree. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and make your yellow jello first. You do have to do this in phases. It did take me about two hours to do this in its entirety because you have to pour the yellow jello in the mold, let it set, and then once it's fully set, then you can add the orange jello. So here I am, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up these shot glasses halfway with the yellow jello. All right, once I've got them all set, I'm gonna pop them in the fridge. I did actually put them in the freezer for about 30 minutes and it did speed up the process quite a bit. So here I am just doing the same thing with the orange jello. I'm gonna go ahead and mix that up and then add it on top of the yellow jello. Now, if you add it too soon and your yellow jello is not set, it will bleed through. So do make sure that the yellow jello is good and set. So here I am just filling up the rest of the shot glass with the orange jello. All right, once that's set, we're gonna stick it in the fridge again for about another hour, hour and a half. I did stick them in the freezer. It did speed up the process. So here, now we're just gonna add the finishing touches. We're gonna add some whipped cream on the top and then top it with a little candy corn candy. So these are really cute, really easy. Um, it did take quite a while, but I did the other projects while these set, so it wasn't, you know, I wasn't sitting around looking at the clock. I only made six, but you can make as many as you would like. All right, next up, we are gonna make our witch cauldron brownies. I'm just gonna take a boxed brownie kit. You'll need two eggs and oil for this one, some cream cheese frosting, and some bright neon green food coloring, and then a variety of sprinkles, as well as some pretzel sticks. And I did buy this little mini muffin pan. It does make cute, perfect little size cauldrons, so they're not you know, too large, they are bite size. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my brownie mix according to the instructions on the back. Now I'm gonna spray my brownie pan with our Pam nonstick cooking spray. And then I'm going to do about a rounded tablespoon for each one. Now don't worry if it's too full, it's not really gonna matter. So here they are. I'm gonna stick those in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes. While those are cooking, I'm gonna to mix together my cream cheese frosting with the bright neon green food coloring. Now the more food coloring you use, the brighter this will be. So I did add quite a bit. I did wanna make it super, super duper green to kind of make it look like, you know, the ooze coming out of a witch cauldron. So here we go. Now that the brownies are done, I'm gonna take them out and put them on this cooling rack to cool. Now I did not use all of them. You will see what I use them for later, but I am gonna take a tablespoon or a spoon, whatever, whatever you have works, and just make a little indentation in each brownie. Now we're gonna take our frosting and the pretzel sticks and our sprinkles. We're gonna start decorating our cauldrons. So I'm gonna take this little coffee spoon I have. It was a perfect size. I'm gonna fill it up with the frosting stick in our pretzel sticks and start adding those little bobble sprinkles. Now I thought the purple was really cool. You can keep it monochromatic and do just green, but I thought the purple added something special. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up all the rest of these and get them going. Now I did wanna make them look messy. You don't want it to look perfect. Then I'm gonna stick in my pretzel sticks and then pop on the sprinkles. Now I was like, oh, maybe this is good like this, but I had some little witch hat sprinkles and then some googly eyes. So I decided to add that at the very end. You will see here. They do still have these at Walmart. I did see them this year as well. So you guys can pick it up there. All these sprinkles I did get at Walmart. And I'm just gonna add the googly eyes and I thought it added a really creepy touch to it. All right, next up is our graveyard dirt cups. I've got a bunch of chocolate jello some Oreos that we're gonna crush up, these little decorating kits that I got from Party City, 
some mini gummy worms, and some pumpkin creams. And then I found these really cool plastic bowls. They were clear, they were perfect. Dollar Tree has a ton of stuff like that. If you're ever curious, definitely check them out. Now we're just gonna crush up our Oreos. This is gonna be our dirt. I'm just gonna smush it with a fork, make sure it's good and nice and chunky and looks really dirty. Now we're gonna take our leftover brownies. I'm just gonna break it apart, smush it in the cup and push it down. So you're gonna do that with all of your cups. Now I'm gonna fill the first layer with pudding and we're gonna spread out the pudding, make sure it's nice and rounded and fills up the bowl. And now we're gonna add our crushed Oreos and then another layer of pudding and then another final layer of Oreos on top. Now I got these really cute little tombstones with a little pin and some like bones. Now I'm gonna start decorating my cups. As you can see, I used some monster hands, some pumpkins, some gummy worms just to make it look really cute. And then I put RAP with a cross on the tombstones and just stuck it in there. This one was super simple. Your kids can even help with this one. My daughter really, really loves these ones and so did her friends. All right, next up is our spider deviled eggs. What you're gonna do is you're gonna boil your eggs as you would normally. Then you're gonna pop them in a bowl of cold black water. I am using black food coloring. I did let that sit for three hours. So the more you crack it and roll it, the better it will turn out. As you can see here when I'm peeling it off, it kind of made like a spider web. It's really, really cool. I really like this one. I love making deviled eggs for every holiday. Um, it was super simple to do. Just get some black food coloring, stick it in the bowl, and forget about it for a couple hours. Really, really cool. I love this one. So now we're gonna make our deviled eggs as you would. I use uh, mayo and mustard, salt, pepper, and paprika in mine, but you make yours however you like. Now, if you like yours really, really smooth and creamy, then feel free to bust out the blender. But since I'm making such a small batch, these are pretty much for my daughter and myself. I'm not gonna use the blender. Now we're gonna take some black olives. I am gonna cut them in half for the body of the spider and then cut them in little wedges for their legs, as you can see. And now we're just gonna fill up our eggs. Now here I'm just demonstrating how we're gonna make the spider. So you're gonna take half of the olives, pop it on there, and then pop on the little legs, and that is it, guys. Super simple, yet super creepy. When my daughter saw these, she almost didn't even wanna eat them because they kind of look gross, but that's the whole idea. You could even add some like green food coloring to the deviled egg mixture if you wanted. It'd be even grosser, <laughs> but I thought these were cute. They came out really adorable. All right, next up is our skeleton charcuterie board. Now I am using some beef summer sausage, some turkey pepperoni, sliced cheese, mozzarella cheese, an assortment of crackers, and then I decided to add some grapes at the very end. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut up your meat. I'm gonna cut up my summer sausage here and pull off the little paper um, that surrounds the outside of it, and then start taking out all of my cheese and cutting it to size. Now you can even use like uh, prosciutto, you can use lunch meat, you can use salami. There's so many options, but this is for kids, so I want it to be super mild. So I've got everything set up. Now we're just gonna go ahead and start assembling our little guts in our skeleton. I did get this skeleton from Amazon. He was 15 bucks, super good deal, and really cute, fit my cutting board perfect. So now I'm just organizing all the cheese, playing around with the placement. Uh, this was super cute and really, really fun to do. I liked this one so much. It came out so cute. This one is probably my favorite and it's probably the most simple and easy, easy to do. It takes literally five minutes. 
All right, last but not least is our bloody popcorn. So you're just gonna need a bag or two of popcorn. I've got these red melting chocolate wafers and then those bone, those bloody bone sprinkles from the little kit earlier. And I've got this cute bowl and these skeleton tongs from Dollar Tree. So here I am, I'm just putting a plastic Tupperware underneath the popcorn just to make it look more full because I know we weren't gonna have a ton of people so I didn't wanna make too much. But you're basically just gonna heat up your chocolate and then splash it and sprinkle it and toss it and kind of make it look like a bloody mess, honestly. I decided to put my little tongs in there and get the hands really bloody too. It looks really cool. Added the sprinkles on top and that was it. Super simple, but really tasty. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed my Halloween treats for this year. If you guys haven't seen my video from last year, I will link it down below and above. You guys should definitely go check it out. There are some good ideas over there as well. Please let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. I know my favorite is the charcuterie board. It came out so, so cute. I really, really love it so much. And if you guys are curious about the background here and my party setup, please stay tuned. I will be making a Halloween parties ideas video so you guys can see my full setup and my buffet board and all my decorations. So please stay tuned. If you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.